Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're taking a look at some of these 12v12s. Yes, you heard me. Post update Town Hall 12 triples. Um, this war was crazy. We'll talk about it a little bit. Um, there's one Town Hall 12 triple on each side. I guess in terms of stars, the difference was this base was not doubled. Um, it was being hit for the win, so. At the end of the war, we had to go two for two. We went one for two in 12v12. Spartans Legacy had an insane performance by their 11s, um, and that's really what set them up. They had so many 12v12 attempts. I mean, almost every one of these bases was hit by a 12. Uh, I don't know if they had to dip once, I think, um, talking Town Hall 12, dipping the Town Hall 11. That's how good their 11s were. So anyway, enough talk. Let's take a look at... Um, the two 12v12 triples, because they are possible, you just have to be spot on. Now, I would say miners are one of your safest go-tos if you have to get a 12v12 triple against like a maxed base, but um, you, you, can, uh, you can get it done with other uh, strategies as you see here, this one being a Lalo plan that worked out very nicely. Um, so basically just sending in the heroes and the wall wrecker and the wall wrecker push is going to get great value so what you're going to have to do is get value um in terms of a kill squad a queen walk there's going to have to be some place on the base that you uh exploit and here um there's a multi inferno which allows the wall wrecker to push very deep and these valks are going to just take out that eagle right there um which is an insane push for only the price of there was a golem involved but a golem heroes and wall wrecker only 30 troop space um if you don't count the cc as troop space leaving a lot left for the lalo to the point where even though there's that extra multi inferno uh it, it's doable and there's a uh, test the farm out by the town hall here but the balloons take it out quickly and of course saves that warden's ability for the town hall which um very conveniently doesn't actually activate until the balloons are on top of it so that's another thing to think about um you're taking away a very valuable defense if you have the town hall not activate um too early but at the same time if the town hall didn't activate to the balloons went past it that would be a huge problem um so it, it, it was nice that it was right at 50 percent um <clears throat> activating the town hall and then the balloons are right on top of it because they don't recognize it as a defense until it lights up either at 50% or once it's taken damage. I guess maybe a balloon falling on it would have counted as damage. So a little bit of luck is involved sometimes, but this was a very nice hit. Um, credit to them. But I would say that um, I was surprised they didn't convert more of these 12v12s considering they had, I believe, all eight attempts. Don't quote me on that. They might have dipped once or twice, but... Um, and I'm, I guess I'm too lazy to look, but uh, they had a lot of attempts and they just couldn't quite convert on most bases, which is somewhat understandable. Um, you saw a tornado trap on that last one. The kill squad triggered it um, just as the queen was dying. I think she triggered it, which is very helpful because you don't want to face that with your Lalo. Um, so that's uh, another thing that was kind of neutralized there. Um, this one is uh, dub attacking. And this was just a great attack. Um, like I said, we only had uh, two 12v12 attempts. And so this base had been, uh, I think, scouted by a 10, but that was about it. Um, so he was really doing this for the first time in any meaningful attack. The idea was to sit in the battle blimp, take out the Inferno, a few defenses. Wasn't insane value. I mean, there's both heroes. There's a lot of point defense. And uh, even with the Rage, the Valks couldn't get that much. But they got enough to, uh, basically the Inferno was the main thing, making it easy for the uh, Queen to discharge in here. Now, I was really worried about time because this walk, you know, there was like a full minute or so that elapsed before anything else was really started. So that is concerning, but the miners moved surprisingly quickly. Um, they are pretty speedy troops, I will say, um, having used them myself this war and in previous wars start to find that out. So the king on the other side, um, classic minor attack. The pathing is really nice, especially because the battle blimp and those Valks in it uh, cleared out some of this. So now the the it's not too wide of a berth for these miners coming through. 
and uh, the queen kind of steps up and helps them with these storages and some of these defenses. Warden behind and very patient, uh, more patient than I, th it was a little unnerving how patient he was considering the town hall um, can destroy miners if like they get distracted by a skelly trap or something. But they all dipped down as the, t the town hall exploded, so he's nice and patient. Um, I don't. The warden's tome probably didn't even need to be used, and it was used at a very awkward time because the warden switches over to the queen and those healers, and he uses it right there on, I guess, a few of the miners, uh, one, the bottom group, the queen and the healers, which was okay, but at this point it was pretty much over anyway, so it didn't really matter what he did. Um, awesome, awesome stuff. A ton of miners left up at the end here. It was a great plan, and it's just too bad we didn't have more 12v12 attempts because um, we went one for two, but I feel like given more attempts, we could have done better. And, of course, if we were able to do a little better 10v10 and then 11v11, we could have had a little bit more freedom to get this base doubled and to get some higher percentage to at least make it come down very close to percentage here. So they actually didn't even use one of their Town Hall 11 attacks. That's how many attacks they had remaining uh, of Town Hall 11s. That's how good they were. It was very surprising. Um, the stats can be researched if you're interested. But that will pretty much do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, quick video, but I wanted to show these awesome attacks. And more to come. I'll see you guys later. Bisect the Tron out.